Leo ningetaka tuongee story ya dende nyoro. We. <laughs> We leo at least wacha tuingie siasa. The truth is eh, this guy ame kwa blessed in, many, in very many ways. Kitu ya kwanza aliweza kuwa rafiki ya deputy president the current president Ruto. <laughs> Now Ruto alispot ujamaa from afar. Kwa nge tu kweli kama ushaisikiza huu jamaa amebarikiwa. Ame uh, his thinking capacity iko to another level. <laughs> The guy hata kama ana defend upuzi utadhani anaongea kitu ya maana sana kwa sababu ako blessed na with convincing power. Eh? Yeah? Yeye ali whip psycho watu huko hivyo akasikia waka akasikia akapaka kile uhuru matope, akapaka jubilee matope. Eh, akadanganya wakikuyu venye Kenya itakuwa poa under the old government. Only to realize maze u jamaa ai to enjoy kwa sababu mtu yote alichagua igava anajua venye kunaenda saa hii. Actually last night I bought tokens. <laughs> eh, Kenya power tokens mtu wangu sasa hizi ziko very very expensive. Na ni aibu. Upuzi tupu. Now, sa story ni hivi. Eh, sasa hizi kwa mambo ni ati kuna mtu ako behind didi nyoro tujulize ni nani na kwanza hii story ilianza wapi now it all started wakati uh, deputy president ruto at that time alichagua running mate sasa wakati walikuwa wametoka karen ilikuwa a battle between uh, midhika uh, teko si midhika eto uh, kindiki na na na, na rigadi gashagua mps walikuwa anaka kindiki lakini rigadi ya kadeisha kulingana ile pesa ametumia kumobilize watu wa kuja uda ni anaseli kuwa running mate sasa kutokea vita vita hapo na mara mwisho hata Ruto alikuwa amejam akadeisha hata didi nyoro wako hapa ikan make a good deputy president <laughs> eh sasa watu wakajam lakini baadaye ilikuja ka change kwa sasa ni kweli rigadi amekuwa deputy president now mpaka wa leo place yote Ruto yuko akienda hizo meeting zake za kila place kona hii ya country akosagi didi nyoro karibu actually huwa wanatembea na yeye ndege moja Ruto anampenda sana anampenda sana na hiyo nguvu ndio inamsukuma ina sahii by the way do you know kulikuwa na forces zenye zili make sure Ruto the current president akwe president Awa se sto ataja lakini ndio wakati wakati Ruto tu aliingia hivi aliwapatia zile majomb kubwa kubwa eh au ndo walikuwa watu wa kwanza sasa wengi wao wametoka Muranga au ndio wana push saa hizi dende nyoro akuja tu rigadi gashago hapo nao au se <laughs> wajulikani sana but wako na nguvu nyingine mob sana waliweza ku sustain campaign ya Ruto for five years mpaka Ruto akaingia the, the same same people ndio wanatumia saa hizi <laughs> didi nyoro wanamsukuma vibaya sana na kitu wenyewe hawa si wako nayo ni do <laughs> ni pesa now didi nyoro aitoka wapi initially this guy alikuwa ana run CDF ya the current governor of Moranga <laughs> kama mjuagi hivyo actually mwenye amementa dede nyoro ni the current Moranga governor eh huyo jamaa ndio alimenta dede nyoro mpaka akaingia kwa kwa, kwa parliament dede nyoro na yeye aku waste time kitu ya kwanza akaonekana is youthful na hiyo jamaa background yake iko iko, iko kwa business <laughs> the guy biashara zake zenye ucharaza mtu wangu ni clean lakini hiyo fikiria hard mimi kwa biashara na mpia heshima ako smart kulingana na miaka yake and what he has achieved is crazy <laughs> the guy hata miaka yake kidogo ako na pesa eh lakini sasa wale watu wanambak ndi wanado zaidi sasa hao ndoko behind hii push ya ujamaa. 
no na take in work in favor of the current president kwa sababu anajua kitu moja this time around tukiwezaenda kwa debe sasa hii Mount Kenya haizi pata hata nusu ya kura <laughs> and maana unaona it's like anatumika ku divide ee Mount Kenya kwa sababu sasa hizi utaacha kudanganyana our current president anaangalia to the west anaangalia said ya western angalia said nyingine kwa sababu peta hao wakaona numbers akiweza washika vizuri wote ashatoboa kwa sababu pande nyingine vile ametu enjoy ametufinya ametufinya na tunaisha tu eh hakuna kitu na go down vizuri yani vitu zinaharibika tu pande yetu ya central so anajua huku ile kura alipata last time haizi pata tena so anatuacha tu pole pole akienda lakini didi nyoro akona time mob sana na ndio maana unaona kuna hiyo pressure imemskuma do you know acha ndio ilifanya mpaka the other elections zilizokuwa zifanyike december zikuwa postponed kwa sababu story ni hivi kulikuwa na wase walikuwa wametaka kupush dede nyoro akuwe secretary general wa uda <laughs> mtu wangu kama mnajua secretary general ni kusema nini huyo ndio mwenye chama akiingia hapo hata kama deputy president kwa sababu deputy president anajua chama ni secretary general atayeko nje so wakaleta noma wakaleta noma mpaka ikakuwa postponed to march is elections kwa sababu <laughs> irigadi gashagua yeye ataka malala abaki pale now see by coincidence at right now the current governor of moranga amechagua economic team ya ma billionaire ah <laughs> kwa yenye wajui mtu wangu Nairobi ilijengwa na watu Moranga. That the same same people the current governor of Moranga anajaribu kuwatumia Moranga inuke. Mtu wangu the current governor of Moranga amejipanga fiti. Hii county nataka kuangalia in five years time itakuwa wapi. The guy aongei lakini zile moves ana make ni fantastic. Eh? Ziko excellent in any way mtu wangu kitu chenye tuna ina work ina, ina, ina work against moranga ni kwa sababu wako namba zao ziko chini but akana shiwa you watch this space for the next four years mimi ukiniambia the battle between at rigadi na dinyoro i ni saidi kwa sababu wote tunafinywa na watu saidi wote wanaimba tu wote venye wanataka kwa and it's all about self interest lakini mkenya wa kawaida ama hata mkikuyu atasaidika aje ni upuzi tupu eh? ni vizuri wacha hizo masiasa zao za ujinga wa make sure manze tuache kuumiza pandei kwa sababu mtu wangu hii <laughs> mwaka itakuwa tawas kuliko last year kulingana venye imeanza <laughs> umecheki NSSF imeongezewa sasa NHF imetolewa ameongeza kitu ometa kitu kingine hapo fani fani we mtu wangu tunaelekea wapi nilicheki ile pesa tulipatiwa la IMF ile loan kubwa wenye walikuwa wanasema hata kopa mtu wangu brace yourself for hard times ahead hakuna vile vitu zitaendelea kuwa the same tena kwa sababu hawa sio umetusahau wanafikiria tu venye watapata viti na kwa hiyo machache na washukuru sana Mungu awabariki